this morning we launched out of Simon's Town Harbour. The main aim was to go and look for some of the pelagic animals that you find out in these deep waters. We were visited by quite a few different seafaring birds. The biggest of these were the black-browed albatrosses. And then some of the pectorals also made an appearance. The white-chinned pectoral, which is the bigger bird that you can see here, and the smaller little storm pectorals, almost dancing on the surface of the water behind the white-chinned pectorals. Some of the white chin pectorals were looking fairly nervous and it was only when I got into the water that I realized what their concern was. There are quite a few small sharks about in this nice clean warm water and these guys were chasing anything and everything that they could see in the water including some of the birds. All these sharks that we saw were all blue sharks. Sharks that get up to about three, three and a half meters. Although all the ones that we saw this morning were only between a meter and a half and two meters. Not very big animals. And once you start getting above these sharks, you can see immediately where it gets its name from. A distinctive blue coloration right across the top of its back. These sharks mainly feed on squid and small bony fish and they definitely built for speed and long distance swimming. A very slender looking animal and it has some very long but thin pectoral fins. While all of this was going on, there were quite a few wary looking onlookers on the surface just watching and having a good look at what was going on below. And perhaps for good reason they were looking pretty nervous because just below the waterline at about this time, probably the most ferocious sharks that I've ever seen in the water made an appearance. This is the Mako shark, a shark that gets up to about three and a half meters long. The fastest swimming fish in the sea. An animal that mainly feeds on fast swimming fish like bonito, yellowfin tuna, sailfish, swordfish, so you can just appreciate the speeds that these animals get up to, sometimes 75 kilometers an hour, which is quite remarkable. It was really a fantastic day out at sea, being in nice, clean, warm water and having some very interesting animals around us. There had been a lot of big Zambezi sharks as well as tiger sharks spotted in the area of late so today we just decided to hang in the midwater and pretty quickly curiosity got the better of this big potato bass and he came up to have a look exactly what we were doing. He seemed very very relaxed. You can see his dorsal fins are down and I was able to get right up close and personal. 
These potato bass are quite aggressive predators. They will open their mouth and swallow most fish whole and once these powerful jaws have got their prey within their grasp, there is no escape. We came across a pair of honeycomb mores. Now they were sharing a hole and perhaps just sharing a moment as well. Up above them, some goldies inject a touch of colour into the scene. These mores will just sit here slowly opening and closing their mouth and this enables water to pass over the gills even though they're not swimming forward. This was quite a unique experience for us. We see these boxfish fairly often here on the reefs of Sidwana, but we never really get to see them interacting like this. This seems to be some kind of courtship display. This is a male and a female. The male is the bluey green one, and the yellow one with the iridescent blue spots is the female. And it was quite fascinating just to watch these two carry on for a while. And unfortunately, no big shark species today, but always a stunning dive and always something new under this beautiful ocean of ours. Because of the large amount of sand on the edge of the reef, you get a lot of rays in this area. And we knew today we could count on seeing a couple of these guys. There are two large round ribbon tail rays just lying quietly on the sand, passing water in through its gills, which you can see just below the eyes there. The eyes protrude slightly from the head just to improve its vision. As we travel a bit further, you can start to see how the sand changes. Now these ridges in the sand are formed by the swell that passes in through this coastline. And underneath here you can see the old remains of what used to be a reef. Now this is all dead coral and just a little bit of sand over the top. Out on the sand here, one would think it's pretty much desert, but there's a lot of these sea pens. These sea pens anchor themselves in the sand. And they put out these fleshy protrusions and they filter plankton from the water. They're very, very delicate little creatures and are reminiscent of a feather. An interesting dive. I'd like to investigate slightly further and maybe this is something we can do in the future. <laughs> 